Hello and welcome to or welcome back to Kentucky Farms Mapping. On this video we will be checking out some of the row crop planters. Um, we're going to take a look at all the different ones that are available and seeing the difference in the row crop planters and just the regular planters and make sure that they both work on the map. But first of all what we need to do is finish up some cultivating that we have. This field needed plowing, so I've got it plowed, and once we get her cultivated, then we'll go ahead and check out the planters. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes, so hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here's our lineup of planters. We have almost every row crop ready planter available, um, except for back here. Okay, these two John Deere planters. Um, there are three more planters available, I believe, that are row crop, uh, different sizes of the same planter. But there's only one regular planter that's not row crop that I can find. So uh, we're just going to compare the six row to the six row. I'm going to assume that the others work the same. We have um, in front two Kinsey planters. These down here are the Kinsey planters. Uh, the ones that are not row crop have fertilizer tanks on them just so we can see the difference. There's nothing else added to any of these. Um, there's a couple of things we're going to check as far as, you know, how well, you know, if they can plant row crop, you know, how that works, that type of thing. Um, the other thing we're going to check to see is, um, like if we're using GPS, if that really works on these planters. So we'll take a look at that too. Um, there's no other options other than I just put the tank on these so we could tell the difference. Uh, we're not going to use fertilizer or anything like that. We're not going to compare crops. And, you know, we, I did that on the last map. I'm not going to do it on this one. We're just kind of comparing all of the different planters on this one. Um, there's a lot of misconception that I see about row crop. I love it. I use it all the time. There's a lot of people that say it doesn't work, you know, this and that and the frame rates and all of that stuff that you'll hear. I even saw one video uh, where they said that uh, they could get the row crop planter to work at all without modifying the file. I, I've, I've never had that problem. So we're going to take a look at that and see. It was specifically with these custom modding ones back here. We're going to check that out, too. Um, we're going to see if we can plant row crop and regular crops on this map. That's one thing I want to make sure of. That, that's something that I don't understand. Some guys come out with a row crop version of a map, and then they also come out with a regular version of the map that's not row crop. I guess I don't understand why you can't just do both on the same map. Because you're not really taking anything away from the game. You know, you're just adding to it. So we're going to, I'll just... You know, I may be wrong, but, you know, we'll check and make sure that that will work on here. Okay, so, um, like I was saying, now these are the Kinsey planters. Uh, I think Squatch Monkey is the one that modified these. Also, these two right here, uh, the Case IH planters. These are 12-row planters, and I believe these are custom modding planters. These are the JHHG John Deere planters. I apologize because I did not look and see whose these were. And these are the custom modding planters back here. Okay. Um, you know, of course, this stuff is just for PC only. You know, you can't do row crop um, other than on PC. So uh, we'll take a look at this stuff and see how it turns out. So we'll be back with that. Okay, here we go. First thing we have is the... Kinsey planter. Uh, this is just the regular planter, no fertilizer in it, 
And, you know, like I said, the only reason I put fertilizer tanks in is so we can tell the difference in the planters. I have it full of seed and we have corn here. So I believe, I don't use this one very much. I believe what I need to do is, whoops, hit the correct button. There we go. I think I need to turn this on. Yes, I do. Is that on? There we go. Now we're on. Okay, so we should be planting just regular corn. We will put our marker down. We will get started. We're going to set an AB line. Okay, the, and you know, like I said, I'm not concerned with the fact that we're not right up along the edge or anything. This is just a test. Uh, the reason I'm setting an AB line is because we're also going to check and see how these things work with GPS. GPS is the one I use. I haven't had much luck with the, what is it, the vehicle control add-on, I think it's called. I don't know. I just, I prefer the GPS for some reason. I just like using it. Okay, so we have our AB line set here. Set auto width. Pop on the GPS line. And we are planting seeds. Yes. Yes. Are we planting seeds? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, I've been messing around a lot with the. Uh, capacities there's several different places where you can change them I'll talk about that in a later video but well I wish they made it a little bit easier to set these things up maybe if you could set them up with mod itself maybe you can I don't know for sure I'm just I'm getting bushels where I want pounds and pounds where I want bushels and you know it works out okay I guess we're gonna get down here to the end so we're planting corn just fine okay so that is the first thing that i wanted to check and it is to make sure that just because it's a row crop map you don't have to plant row crop okay you can use just a regular planter okay so we're going to take this and we're going to hit the field button here flip it around I have headland mode turned on so that's why I'm doing it this way we should oh whoa we are way off on that uh, I don't use a Kinsey planner I have I don't I think maybe this is the first time I used it we are way off on the headland mode we are clear to the left of it in our rows. I can't tell. I don't know they Oh, they're not. I have one planting right next to the other one. Okay, well, I guess that's a thing. Huh. I wasn't sure, I, you know, again, that's one reason why I wanted to check this. So you can, I know you can adjust this. It's just that if we adjust it right, so it runs down the middle here, like it's supposed to, whenever we turn around and go back the other way, I believe it will be adjusted incorrectly. I think it'll go off the other side. So I'm not going to mess with all that stuff on this. Okay, I just... You know, we want to make sure that uh, we can just plant with this. And we're going to see how it works straight out of the box. And I know it's going to get kind of goofy here because I didn't have the AB line set. Okay, so we're not too worried about this anyway. So that's how the regular planter works. So we're just going to go ahead and I guess we'll go ahead and plant out to the end of it. Because what we're going to do now is grab the row crop version of this. I guess before we get to the end here, 
Let's hit Y. Whoops, let's turn it off first. Guess we have to turn it off. Okay, it says sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beet, cotton, silage corn, grapes, and not on here, olives, row crop soybeans. Can we plant row crop soybeans? It appears we can. Huh. Well, I set it up in uh, files this way just to see if it would work. And I mean, not that you really have to plant row crop soybeans. I am kind of anxious to see how that works, though. And silage corn. We'll turn this back on. And it is also planting silage corn. Okay. Okay. We have the... Kinsey row crop planter and let's make sure we're planting and we are and you can see the difference in the way it's planting here we have it set right now for silage corn and we're just running on the same track that we did on the same GPS track that we did with the other planter and you can see that it's still offset to the right what we will do is I'm going to go ahead and drop this marker and we'll flip it around at the end and see how it lines up. But we're just going to go, we're going to go silage corn here. I'm going to shut it off for a second. Just move up here. We'll change it to, let's see, we'll change it to row crop soybeans. Turn it back on, take off. Okay, and we'll plant along here a little bit with this. And then we will shut it off again when we get down toward the end. And we will line it up. See how it lines up when we turn around. Okay, so we have Row crop soybeans here. We're going to stop, shut it off, move up a little bit, switch it over to regular corn, and we'll take off again. Okay, so when we get to the end, we will go ahead and flip it around and see what it does. Okay, we're at the end. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and raise it up. Again, I have headland management turned on. And I'm just going to flip it around here. And hit it to start again. And this one is also lined up off center. And you'll notice you can see a lot better. Whoops, sorry. I hit the wrong button. Let me get back where I was. There we go. I don't need that marker up. We're just going to raise it up. Here we go. Because we're done with this after this. Okay, there we go. You can tell right here on the end where the rows are planting right next to each other. So, you know, again, I'm just running these straight out of the box to see how they work without making any adjustments whatsoever. So this one runs off center to the left. So like I said, those two rows are right next to each other. And it has to do with the width of the tool. So that needs to be addressed somehow. You probably go into the mod and change it permanently. Or I could just adjust it here in the game. But I'm not doing either one because we don't care about that right now. What we care about, oh, the other thing we care about that I didn't even think about is checking to see how the game works. Because there are many, many, many complaints about frame rate. Uh, personally, um, I'm not that concerned with frame rate. As long as the game runs smooth, I can turn it on if necessary, but... Uh, there was absolutely zero lag with this planter. 
planting in a row crop version. Okay? So I don't see any reason. I'm going to kind of modify how we're looking at this stuff. I don't see any reason to test the row crop version and the standard version of every one of these planters because, you know, we already uh, determined that we can just plant regularly. If you don't want to use row crop, don't use a row crop planter. You just use a regular planter and plant whatever you want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just grab the row crop version of each one of these. If I can get out of the trees here. There we go. I'm going to grab the row crop version of each one of these. And we're not going to plant very long. We'll plant just a little bit so we can get an idea of what it's going to do as far as the game. You know, how it's going to act in the game. See if the frame rate drops. Again, I can turn on the frame rate, but I really don't care that much about turning on the frame rate. I'd rather just see how the game reacts. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about uh, a lot with these. I'm not going to plant all the way to the other end. We're going to make this kind of short. Um, I have used this planter a lot, so I already know how it's going to work. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and set us an AB line. We're going to start here, turn the planter on, lower it down. Oops, I guess we need something in it, don't we? Fill it with seeds. And what are we planting? Doesn't even matter what we plant. We'll just plant silage corn. Okay, so we've got our AB line started. We'll run it up here a little bit. We will set our AB line. Our auto width. Okay, turn our GPS on. We'll go up here a little bit. I guess we should drop the marker, shouldn't we, so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Drop the marker. We're going to go up here just a little bit. We don't need to go all the way to the other end. We're going to turn around. And we'll get over here. That's good enough. Okay. Flip it back around here. Turn on the field mode. And we are running exactly down. I mean, you can see with that middle wheel in between the rows right here, it's running right smack dab on the middle of the row marker. Okay, we ran out of row marker already. I'll come down here and turn around again just so you can see. Make sure. Again, don't pay any attention to these rows because I didn't have the AB line set yet. But when we get down here, we'll flip it back around and you can get a little bit better idea of what it looks like. I'm just going to hit the headland mode button to go from field to headland. Hit it back. Let it pick itself up. I know I set the planter down too fast, but there you go. That's running just smack dab down the middle of it. The rows are spaced evenly. This planter does a really good job. Okay, so that's that one. We'll go ahead and get this shut down, grab the next planter, and bring it out. Okay, so now we have the John Deere six row planter here the John Deere 7000 okay and we're just going to once again get our AB line established I know I'm not straight in the field or anything like that either but there we go AB line got a GPS set got head off down through here and again we're just planting silage corn and we and again I don't notice any difference at all in the performance of the computer. I have a an iBuy power with 16 uh, gig of memory and uh, I'm sorry 16 meg memory and 
uh, let's see, it's a 3080 graphics card is what it has. So we'll pop this up, do exactly the same thing we did before, flip it around. I know this tractor's overkill for this planter, but I just wanted to use one tractor for all of this. Get it set, let it pick up its own path, and this one works great. Looks like it's going right down the middle also. Looks like the rows are evenly spaced. And it appears that everything's doing okay. It's kind of weird that coming back the other way, the left marker worked great. And come through here and the right marker skipping. Which is honestly a little bit more realistic. Okay, your marker kind of bounces up and down just a little bit on some planters. So... You get kind of that hop and skip in there instead of just a straight plowed furrow through there like some of them show. Okay, and again, no difference in the performance that I saw of the computer. It looked okay to me. So go ahead and get this one put away and grab the next one. Okay, we're going to jump right into the big ones uh this is the john deere i don't remember the number sorry um i don't see it sorry i don't remember what the number is oh 1775 nt uh this is the one by jhhg um got it filled with silage corn um Love the way this thing unfolds. But we've got it here. We'll go ahead and drop down the marker. Okay. So this is one of the ones that everybody complains about the frame rate. So we're going to see what happens here. And oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. There we go. And we're down. And we're turned on. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so it's a, it is a little bit laggy. Okay, I will admit that again i haven't used this very much i didn't have a a b line set up for that either we'll just go ahead and get that done here so there's our a there's our b auto width gps we're running crooked but that's okay We'll go down here a little bit and flip it around and see how it lines up coming back. So, yeah, our frame rate is a little bit low. Um, we can check it here in a second and see what it is. Might as well, I guess. Okay, we have our frame rate on, and we are low. 25, 26... It usually runs 60 to 70. Um, I don't see any position that it's getting any better. Yeah, it is kind of laggy, but, you know, the computer's handling it. Um, I guess the thing is, if it bothers you and you don't like the way it works, then don't do row crop. Okay, so I guess the only other thing to do to check this one out is to hit the field button, flip around here, hit it back. See, we're only running like 40 when it's not in the ground. This one is, this one's off also. And our GPS is turn yeah. This one's off to the left also. You know, like I said, I don't use this one that much. I don't use this big of 
planners. I, I never realized that before. Okay, so now we know. I mean, it does take a big frame rate hit. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one and grab one of the Case IH planners. Okay, last set. And we are going to try all three of these and keep an eye on the frame rates. I think my map kind of has a little bit of a slow frame rate sometimes, but that happens when you have a bunch of trees. And it's running right around 60 most of the time. Okay, so we'll get up here, you get out of the field, and it runs up close to 90 in some places. So this is one of the custom modding uh, the row crop planters. Um, I was watching a video the other day from one of the other YouTubers and he was having a problem getting this to work. I must say I've never had a problem getting this to work. He actually even said he had to go into the mod file and modify it to get it to be a row crop planter. I have never had that trouble with it. So we're gonna see how it works on here. I'm gonna turn the HUD visibility back on just so we can see, I'll turn that off. So we can see what we're doing here. Uh, okay, we will fill it with seed. Okay, and seeds. There we go. Row crop soybeans. Um, okay. It's possible. We're going to see what happens here. It's possible I have the wrong planner. We'll go ahead and unfold this. I have row crop soybeans in this one. We're going to see what this does to the frame rate. We're still up around 80. I have used this planner a lot. And have... Not had any problems with it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and huh. Okay, we're going to go ahead here and get our GPS set up. This one does not have markers, by the way. I don't think it had the option for that. Set my A. Turn it on. Hit the right button. Lower it down. Off we go. Let's see what we're doing. We're getting row crop soybeans. The planter's just showing that it can plant. Maybe it can plant more than just the row crop stuff. I don't know for sure. But anyway, I have it set up for row crop soybeans. We're going to see what it does. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't have it set enough. Hey, okay. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Now we have it set. Okay. So we are taking a little bit of a hit with the um, frames per second, the FPS. It's down to, it's running like 50 to 55. So it's down a little bit. It's not terrible at all. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn around here. There's no, no marker on this for us to gauge where to go back. That's why I like using the marker, but Okay, we're going to sit this down and let it get itself straightened out. And it appears that it is working fine. 
the rows are correctly spaced. Um, you know, again, we've got a little bit of a hit. It's probably going to get lower as we go back up this way toward the trees and the background that's showing here on the map. But, you know, it's this is a 12 row completely acceptable planning for row crop, I think. Okay, we'll go ahead and dump this off. This is one of the ones that I use most often, is this one, and also the uh, other Case IH planter. We're going to go ahead and grab the 16 row, and we will be back with that one. That was my fault on the last planter. Uh, it actually, these planters do have ridge markers. I just didn't have it selected as an option. I forgot to do that, so... This one, which is the 16 row, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This is a 16 row. This one does have the ridge markers. Uh, again, our frame rate's running fine here. Of course, we're not doing anything yet, but we'll fill it with seeds. And again, we will go with row crop soybeans just to see what it's like there we go we will go ahead and flip our marker down turn our planter on get it lowered down and get our a b line set there's our a There is our B, auto width, GPS. Well, that was cute that it did that. Okay. So we'll run up here a little bit. Um, again, our, yes, our FPS is dropped. It's a little bit bigger planner, but it's still, I mean, if I didn't have that FPS turned on to see what it's doing, I couldn't hardly tell that it was, it's a little bit jagged, I guess. If you get down at an angle like this, it goes down some. Okay, let's get in cab and see what it does. It goes down quite a bit in cab, but still it's not, you know, it, to me, it's still completely acceptable for playing the game. Even though the FPS, if I didn't have that turned on, I honestly would not know that the FPS is that low. So, you know, again, it's up to you how you want to play it, but that's just my opinion. So we're going to raise it up here. Just hit the field button. We'll go back and set our headland mode for picking up on it here. And this is, again, perfectly in the middle using GPS. And again, you know, I don't know how it works with other types of steering systems, but with uh, GPS, this works great. I have no problem using this. Okay. We're just going to go ahead. I'm kind of anxious to see here, since it does have these other options. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to run it up here just a little bit. And I'm going to select something else and see what happens. Let's pick, uh, what should we try? There's regular corn, sunflowers, soybeans. I don't care about sugar beets and cotton and all that stuff. Grapes and olives. Let's try sunflowers. And then I just went past it. Doggone it. Sorry. There we go. All right. Now we're doing sunflowers. We'll lower it. Turn it back on. And we're off. And is it planting sunflowers? It's... I'm anxious to see what happens here. 
because what does it say it says sunflowers huh Uh, if this works, I would be surprised because I have not done this before. What else is available there? I'll turn it off right up just a little bit. Change it to a different crop. Let's try... I don't care about any of this other stuff. We'll try corn. It should run corn just fine. Turn it back on and take off. Why I drove really straight there at the beginning, didn't I? That's what I get for talking and driving at the same time. <clears throat> so, looks like it's planting fine. Yep. Now, the reason that you're seeing the textures like they are, are these are custom colors and custom textures that I have done. And one of the reason I did them this way is with some of the other textures, I really like them, especially like uh, Antler 22 has textures, some new ground textures. The thing is with those, the planning or the, I'm sorry, the plowing texture and the uh, cultivated texture are similar. And it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two for me. Um, and the other thing is that if you're plowing anything besides corn, you still get that corn texture. And if you do moldboard plowing, you still get a lot of trash, a lot of stubble. So, I mean, it's just, it's, they're great. I mean, he did a fantastic job on them. Um, I've just gone a little bit different way here. I actually asked him for permission to use them on here and he let me do it and, then I decided after that that I wasn't going to use them. So, yeah, like I said, these are custom colors. Uh, the red dirt maps that I've seen, I don't really like that much because they are really red. And what I've done is I actually got on the Internet and went to the website of a landscaping place in Murray, Kentucky, which is very close to here. Uh, this is, I know, Delta South Modding did a Murray, Kentucky map. I don't even know where that one is. It's somewhere around Murray. This is not that same map by any means. Uh, it just happens to be around the same area as that one. So what I did was I got online and I went to that uh, particular landscaping site and I found images of dirt colors for the area and I kind of based it off of that the other thing I did was uh, made sure that the colors between the textures are a little bit different so you can tell uh, you know, so you can really tell the difference of like when you cultivate, when you plow, there's not only a texture difference, there's also a slight color difference. And as you can see, you know, you're doing row crop, you can tell you're doing row crop. Uh, you're doing, you're seeding things or you're planting regularly, you can tell that. If I were to cultivate this, it'd be a different color. If I had to plow it, it'd be a different color yet. Um, Probably one of the lightest ones is the plow color. Actually, this right here, this where the ridge marker is, that's actually plowed. So that's the plow color. The reason I did that instead of doing dark dirt for plowing is because normally when you plow something, uh, you... Uh, it's darker, but then it dries before you cultivate it or do the next step and then it turns darker again so I thought if I did dark plowing and then did dark something else it was just going to be too dark by the time I got done so that's kind of the reason for that sorry to ramble on here I'm just waiting for this to unfold
So we'll go ahead and fill this up. Fill cedar up again. Seeds. Got it. Corn. Nah. Sunflower, soybeans, row crop soybeans. There we go. We will turn it on. You see our frame rate right now. When I turn it on, it stays about the same. Still up 75, 70 to 75 running through here. We will shoot sorry let me jump off real quick fix this uh, and this is where you change your wing options right here i want ridge markers customize yes okay back to reconnect it wrong ridge markers down boy this is good jumping all over the place there we go We'll pull up a little bit more. Get it somewhat straight to start. All right. Got row crop soybeans in. Got our planter. Down. Have our A set. We planting? No. Why not? There we go. Let's turn it on. Now we planting? Yes, we are. Okay, we have our A set. Set our B auto width GPS. Off we go. And we are a steady, this is the steadiest FPS we've had. We are a steady 25 FPS. Again, the way I look at it, would I know it's 25 if I didn't have it turned on? And the answer to that is no, unless I start moving around. And then you can tell it's kind of jumpy. Okay, but when I mean, you can tell a little bit by the tires, but really it do just doesn't seem like that big a deal. And I'll tell you what I've done is I've run out of field space. So we're going to raise this up. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to kind of finish this little test. Out here in the middle. Kind of like this. We'll have to find our GPS line. There we go. We'll lower it back down, and we're off. Okay, we'll run up here a little ways. We will turn around and see how this lines up. Um, to me, this is you know, custom modding stuff is always top-notch stuff. And so far, we've kind of seen that with these planters. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this up here in a second. Hit our mode to go to the headland mode. Turn around. Hit our button again and go back to the field mode. We'll try and make it a little bit better. There we go. Takes a minute to let it down. I probably should have stopped there at the end, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And again, we are just dead on center of this our row spacing is really good everything looks great as far as i can tell with this looks good to me and again we're still we're running very low on the fps that's a given that's going to happen if you have a computer that can't handle it then I guess you can't play it. Um, you know, if you don't like using it, then don't use it. I get, you know, to me, it gets the, I love using row crop. I use it all the time. I just think it gets kind of a bad rap simply because of the fact that some people don't want to do it and they don't want to mess with it. And that's fine. You know, if it's not for you, don't do it. All right. I'm just going to let this set. 
shut this down. I am going to get off of here for a second, speed up the time, and we're going to take a look and see what this looks like when it grows a little bit. So we'll be back. Okay, we are back, and we have uh, fast-forwarded our time up until June the 3rd of year one. We were in April, so we've gone a couple months ahead. And you can see there's our regular planted silage corn. There is our regular planted soybeans and our regular planted corn. What I mean by regular planted is we just use a regular planter to do it. If we hop on over here, we have the row crop with the Kinsey planter. And you can see this set of rows. They're really close together down through there. Okay, let's go up this way a little bit. And we'll take a look at these. And this is actually where we use the GPS. And you can see those two rows right there in the middle are right next to each other. Okay, so like I said, I didn't adjust anything. You can probably adjust this in the game and get that out of there uh, to where they're planted correctly. I do not know. Um, if we hop on over here, let's go back the other way first. Okay, so that was our Kinsey planter and our Kinsey row crop planter. And then this was our John Deere planter. Spacing looks pretty good on the GPS on that. That was our six row planter that we used. Uh, this was also one of our John Deere. That's me. I can't drive in a straight line. Okay, and you can see how it does around the curve. And I know you're going to say, well, that's not straight. Look at all those jagged things in there. Well, of course there is. That's the way a computer works. So there you go. But maybe if you set different angles, it'd be, it'd look better. But, and the other thing is, this is the first time this has ever been done. So, you know, of course it's not going to be perfect. I don't know that it's ever going to be perfect, but it looks pretty good to me. Okay, we hop on over here. This is our case, our last case IH planner. Correct, I believe so. Yep, uh, we come down here and this just didn't work very well, did it? So if you try and plant sunflowers, this is odd. This is sunflowers. If you try and plant sunflowers with a row crop planter, um, doesn't work very well. So there's that. I guess you need to stick to corn and row crop soybeans and row crop or silage corn. Okay, there's the beans. Those look good. Okay, this is the 16 row case IH planter. That looks real good. Okay, so that's what they look like. There's a corn or soybeans. Like I say, I love it. I use it all the time. So I guess it's your choice to make. Uh, it just gives you some options and shows you a little bit about how they work. And, you know, everything works like it's supposed to right out of the box, as far as I can tell, with all of these mods. The only problem that we ran into was with the Kinsey planter and with a big John Deere planter from JAHG. They weren't centered when we used GPS, which is... 
honestly, no big deal. I mean, that's a pretty simple fix. You could actually even go into the mod and uh, figure out what the width of that planter needs to be and just change it in the mod, rezip it, and then you just have it fixed all the time. Or you could probably change the offset uh, in your GPS. Okay? So I'm not going to do a uh, yield difference and seed difference and all. I did that on the last map. So if you want to see all that stuff, I did that on the Frog Creek. There's a video on Frog Creek about the comparison of row crop and uh, regular planting as far as seed usage and uh, yield and that type of thing on there. So you can take a look at that. Uh, sorry for rambling on with some of this stuff. This is very interesting to me, the way this stuff works. Okay, so... Uh, sorry for rambling on a little bit. Hope you got something out of the video and hope you'll stick around next time and watch the next one.